Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about understanding a programming execution and memory. This is our second class on Java programming. This class is very, very important to understand. And whatever the graphical intuition we are going to provide here, from this graphical intuition, we are going to understand the remaining programming language concepts. So that's why if you keep this graphical intuition in your mind, it's very, very easy to understand the next classes. And this understanding is very, very helpful for you in writing the coding logic also. So coming to today's class, in our last class, we clearly showed that uh, the execution of a simple Java program, Hello World program, there we have mentioned the class sample program. So what's this? We are going to understand in our next classes. Similarly, public static void main of this is a main method. So what is this public static void and all those things and uh, string arcs of we are going to discuss in our next classes. Now coming to the point you have to understand whenever you start executing this program M means when you run this program from where the program starts its execution. It starts execution from the main method. So the main method is going to execute. So what, what is main method from where to where it is we call it as a main method main method open brackets and closed brackets this is what whatever we mentioned in between this open brackets and closed brackets that the the lines that mentioned here the code that mentioned here it is going to start executing that code so if you run a program by default it will go it, it will find the main main method and it starts executing the program that present in the main method how it is going to execute it is going to execute line by line take the first line place it in the processor so where the coding will execute it's execute in the processor take the first line execute in the processor take the second line execute in the processor third line execute fourth line so on here we have mentioned 10 lines that is how it is going to take line by line and starts executing in the processor while executing while executing if the program needs any data it will go check the data in the random access memory and get the data from the random access memory so it is going to get the data from the random access memory and it starts executing so one simple example we are going to understand suppose if this line is c is equal to a plus b so the value see a the value present in that a where it is going to present in this random access memory assume that assume that a the value present at eighth line so first try to understand what's the organization of random access memory this is a simple random access memory organization. With this simple memory organization, we are going to continue our next concepts also. So whenever we discuss about random access memory means simply you have to understand that this is the organization. So random access memory contains E lines, first line, second line, third line, so on, multiple lines. And the first line contains each line is one byte means eight bits the line address starts from 0 1 2 3 this we call it as 0th line first line second line third line fourth line so on suppose it was assigned a value a contains a value of 5 5 will be stored in line number 10 assume that 5, five the value 5 is stored in line number 10 it's it's given a name a similarly b the value present in that B is stored in 20th line. If this operation C is equal to A plus B has to be done, whenever it got this A value, it has to go to the random access memory. Processor has to contact the random access memory. It has to find the address of this A where the value present. Suppose it is present in 8th location, 8th line. It, it will get the data from the 8th line. Similarly, get the B value. Where, where is the B value stored? So assume that it is stored in a 20th line. Get the data from 20th line. So it got both the data. Now addition is done in the processor. Addition is done in the processor. 
after adding both the values the result will be stored in c means c is assigned some memory location here assume it is assigned with 30 memory line number 30 so the output of a plus b will be stored at 30th line this is how processor and random access memory going to interact and execute our programs so if you have this understanding if you have this random access memory understanding we are going to use this memory understanding in our coming classes when we discuss about object all those things we are going to use the same random access memory architecture this is a simple random access memory architecture for understanding programming languages there are multiple uh, multiple architectures for random access memory but this is enough to understand the programming so this is how the points you have to remember program execute starts from main the body of the main is going to be executed how it is going to be executed it is going to be executed line by line take the first line second line whenever it needs data in that line it will contact the random access memory get the data from random access memory and starts executing hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you